Hello everyone and welcome back to the Divine Speaker Extended Demo. If you have missed the previous parts, I have a playlist. If you want to play the Extended Demo yourself, play it faster than I'm pushing out these videos. Uh, links in the description. If you want to support the devs, links also in the description. Um, a note in case you're like new and stumbling along here. Sometimes I do recording sessions like in a row or within the same week, but I still push out these videos like maybe once or twice a week, mostly once a week. So if you left like a comment saying like, oh, you should have done this or this, or oh, something or some other, and I don't like acknowledge it for the next video or something, or if I ever acknowledge it, uh, it's because, hey, it, you, uh, I probably already recorded before you said that. So, yeah, we have met lovely man here. Yeah, I was, I'm still like, just like, why didn't I think about meeting like some of the side characters already? But I'm still holding out for one of the characters that I'm so excited to meet. And if they end up being just like, we only meet them like really quickly at the end or something, I'm gonna be a little sad. <laughs> a tall man with long green hair tied back into a ponytail. On his shoulder sat a small blue bird looking around playfully. Mm, can't take a compliment. Uh, he flashes a fang with a wide grin. I love him already. Sorry, um, I, I tend not to listen to people who are talking out of their asses. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's a little irritable. Tall and broody. I can imagine you're pretty popular, even if some of your notes were out of tune. Well, at least you tried your best. Excuse me? That actually made me very upset. I'm like, oh, leave him alone. <laughs> um. Making sure to drag it over the ground and making as much noise as possible. Gently, the bird hopped on his finger and he set it down on the table. <laughs> Fawn! I'm oh, so happy! Fawn's eyes instantly lit up. Don't even start. You don't have to be dripping at the mouth at every single animal you see. <laughs> Tripping? I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Why else would you be keeping so many animals? Because they're his friends. I think you... <laughs> Sorry. He's not up for grabs. <laughs> I love this. The blue bird bounced around in front of Fawn, floating around and tweeting. This isn't a zoo, you know? Keep your pets somewhere else. Oh god, Leos, please. They let you in, didn't they? <laughs> I would have thought they'd tell Cabbage Patch and Kaleidoscope over there to oh. keep you tied up outside. But here you are. Oh my god. C Cabbage Patch? <laughs> Kaleidoscope? <sighs> Seems I'm not the only one with a bird in here. What well-trained parrots you have. Oh gosh. Leo's expression became more annoyed by the second. I could almost hear a crackling in the air as he stared down at the carefree looking man. Uh, look, can we help you? All right, all right. I'm just here to congratulate you on a performance well done. <laughs> What's a man got to do to show he enjoyed something? Maybe just getting right to the point. Not what you're doing, apparently. <laughs> it's all right, Leo's. Just leave it. Down dog. Ugh. Leo's fingers edged toward his daggers, playing with the handles. I kicked him under the table quickly. Ouch! Is that all then? Thank you for the compliments. But we're tired from traveling, and he. Well, he's easy to annoy. <laughs> traveling? And where would such an interesting group be traveling from? None of your business? Uh, Leos and I come from a ra- From none of your business. We can't be saying anything, Rain. Come on, gotta get with the program. Oh. The little bird hopped around in front of me before flying to land on the top of my head. Uh... Hmm. Can't say I've been to none of your business before. <laughs> How's the weather? Oh my god. He's still joking around, but his face only looked serious. Is he staring at me? 
No, he's staring at the bird on my head. Under his steely-eyed gaze, I felt my body freeze up. I'll be honest, I couldn't help but be curious about such a strange assortment of people. Stagwitch has a lot of visitors, but not many of them look like the three of you. Well... We're just travelers. Sorry we don't look like everyone else. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can trust. He looked between the three of us before his eyes landed once again on a bird sitting on my head. Does your bird have a name? I say fun, I say fun. His name is Varys. Yes. Will I remember that name? Vaughn hmm. raised his hand to Ferret, Varys, but the bird flew away before he could touch him. <laughs> he landed back in front of the green-haired man and pecked at the table in intervals before hopping onto his head. And your name? <laughs> what do you think my name is? I don't know. How should we know? No clue. <laughs> uh, you look... Like a fox, so... Got it in one. Good job, Bluey. He stood from his chair and turned to leave. With a turn of his head and a wink, he looked back at Leos. Looks like it's time for me to take my leave. See you later, Leos. His eyes lingered on Leos for a moment, and an undescribable look passed over his face. Oh, you can have this back. Interesting currency you have there, but not much use to us. Um, no. Um, man, he was gonna steal from us, and we were about to be like, oh, we're even more broke than we thought we were? <laughs> than we actually are? Mm. He threw a worn envelope on the table, and the contents tumbled out. A few paper notes and a handwritten letter. Uh, hey, how did you- Night! Uh, in the end, what did he actually want? To be annoying, obviously. He might have been acting like that, but he had more than one weapon hidden in his clothes. Nice. All three of us slumped back in our chairs now that he was gone. It's been one thing after another today. First all that walking, getting into a fight, performing at a bar, and being harassed by some weird green-haired guy with a pet bird. I think I could use that bed now. Uh, speaking of earlier... Oi, mouse boy. W what? <sighs> that, uh, wasn't a bad punch you threw back there. Uh oh, we're gonna compliment each other. Back there? <sighs> you did a good job of breaking that guy's nose, but your form is poor. Mm -hmm. You gotta hold your fist like this. Leos pulled Fallon's hand and positioned it into a fist. He acts like he doesn't care and does things like this. You're actually a nice guy, aren't you? What? Don't say that! He has a reputation! <laughs> he instantly dropped Fawn's hand onto the table. I... I couldn't care less about you two. Oh, he's blushing! Sure. You did a good job of protecting us back there, though. I don't know what you're talking about. Then was starting to get rowdy with yelling, singing, and cheering. Which reminds me... Oh, now that we're finally alone, what did those girls want? I have no clue, but thank the gods they're finally leaving me alone. One more second of listening to their shrill voices and I would have had to kill someone. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, I tried to explain it to you before, but I think you'll be more likely to believe me now. Go ahead. So, you said that in Aurelia Cavella, you don't decide who you want to be with. You're just matched up, right? Well, everywhere else... How do I explain this? Oh, man. <laughs> Everywhere else, people decide for themselves who they want to be together with. But how did they know who to be with? How would you be able to pick? There's so many people! Love. Most of the time, anyway. You'll get a funny feeling in your chest, your heart will beat faster, and you'll know that you want to spend your life with that person. Then you might get married and have kids. I don't think I understand it. How will you know if what you're feeling is... love? I... guess you just know when it happens. Sometimes it's exciting. Sometimes it's comfortable. Love can feel different for different people. That doesn't explain what those girls wanted. Um... I guess... they liked you. They like what you had going on. 
liked me? Like, they wanted to be with you. Maybe they thought you were good looking. I mean, he is good looking. I mean, you're tall. Have a nice face. Perhaps. That's all it takes to get people to like you out here? Yeah, some people might want to skip the love and marriage and go straight to... Two? Two. Other things. Mm-hmm. Mm, don't stop at the interesting part. <laughs> you know... They don't know, Fawn! S- mm-hmm. S- S- we both leaned in closer to hear Fawn's quiet voice. S- I'm back! <laughs> Whoa, didn't mean to scare you guys. So, there might be a slight problem. Ah, uh, are we sharing rooms? Of course. What now? Well, since you brought in so many customers, we only have a single room left. Uh, amazing. Um, Just one room? How many pets are there? Sadly, just one. Ah, oh, yes. Wonderful. Although... Uh-huh. He looked us all up and down. His eyes lingered on Fawn for a moment. You're all pretty slim, so I'm sure you could fit. <laughs> I was about to say that, but, like, I was like, mm, do I say that? Sorry, boys. You're just too popular. I should keep you around. <laughs> you should. But we have important things to do. Are you sure that there aren't any other rooms available? Leos eyed the man suspiciously. You planned this from the start, didn't you? Uh, guys, calm down. If he says we can all fit, then it should be fine. All right? Leos took a step back inside. <sighs> if it means that I sleep in an actual bed, so be it. That's... Uh, I mean... Defeated, Fawn stops arguing as well. Okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you guys upstairs. That'd be great. Thanks. We followed him up a small set of wooden stairs and down a narrow corridor. One of these doors must lead to the room he prepared for us. You'll find the room... cozy. You should be comfortable for the night. This one is yours. He pointed towards the door at the end of the corridor. If you need to stay any longer, come down and have a chat with me in the morning. You've done me a huge favor by bringing in that crown. So thanks again. It's no problem, really. We should be thanking you. If you need anything, I'll be downstairs. The man took off down the stairs, back towards the bar. Well, should we check it out? We just pushed open the door and we all examined where we'd be spending the night. The room was definitely cozy. It was small, with a double bed and few chairs strewn about. It's a little squishy, but <laughs> it's clean and safe. I guess we really don't have anything to complain about. Outside the window, everything was slowly dying down. Lanterns were going out and everyone was tucking themselves away in bed. It's so strange. What? We're so far from home, and so many things stay the same. The lights slowly dimming to the sound of a far-off owl. The people downstairs chatting happily. It's all so familiar, but so different. I closed my eyes and listened to the sound of the ocean. Try not to get too deep there, or you'll find yourself in a big hole. <laughs> Sorry, I must be tired. Let's head to bed. How are we going to do this? <laughs> These two are like, whatever, we'll just shove in there. And Fawn is like, but bodies pressed together. <laughs> uh, I'll take the left side. <laughs> Leos began unbuckling bags and removing pieces of clothing on one side of the bed. Fawn stood by the right side, awkwardly fiddling with his clothing. What's wrong? Um, I don't know what I should sleep in. Just your underwear, I guess. Uh, okay. Okay. We're all comfortable here. Fawn is the only one in this room with a hang-up. Uh. Stop watching. <laughs> Sorry. I turned around to face Leos instead. He already taken off most of his clothes. Wow. 
You're really fit, aren't you? He smirked at me, obviously proud of himself. Unlike some. <laughs> you want to feel? I mean, I'm very interested. <laughs> wow, can I really? <laughs> These two are so... God, I love them. Vaughn looked around with a look of horror on his face. What are you two doing? <laughs> We're touching abs, what's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong with touching abs, Fawn? With my hands on Leos' chest, I turned back to Fawn. Uh, Leo said I could feel his muscles? Jealous? You can too. Maybe one day you'll have a body like this. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course you won't. 